All right, Lighter. So this morning we did get a bunch of new news regarding the new balance coming out, the new story mode coming out too. I already covered that in a video. If you haven't seen it just yet, I do recommend you guys check it out. But for this video, we're going to be looking at the three new resurrectable characters, that being the Mind Momo, Speedo Maida, and Technique Ranku. Personally, I'm not too excited for these three characters getting their resurrections, mainly because all three of them are quite mediocre, and even if they did get an amazing resurrection, I wouldn't even use them. And the links themselves, for some reason, I'm not sure why, I feel like they're all just going to get mediocre resurrection links. Omida is a crystal link. Sure, if he feels a recharge, that'd be great. Not that big of a deal for me, personally. Momo is a recharge character, and I don't see her getting strong attack damage. And even if she does, it doesn't affect me, because I already have three mind sad links that have recharge with them. And then for... Ranku, she's she's a stun recovery, so even again, she picks up recharge. I mean, I might actually use that too, so I'm, I'm not sure. Let, let's just actually just peep the three new resurrection characters, and they will be coming out on the 12th of this month, so they're around like eight days away. So that said, let's look at the first character, and the first one we're looking at is Ranku. What does she pick up? Firstly, let's look at what she actually needs. For starters, she is a... Uh, She's quite mediocre in terms of strong attacks. Her third being a charge, not a good one at that, and her SA2 being a vortex. Um, this used to be good, obviously, back in the Guild Quest meta when you wanted characters like this, but nowadays it's kind of just eh. Right, so looking at the skill that she does have, she has a 20% bruiser, 40% devastation, friendly plus one, long reach plus 20%, and sprinter plus one. So that is one, two, three, four, five. So what she's going to do here, she's going to get. 20% Berserker. That's pretty much guaranteed. That's what every character gets now when it comes to the Resurrection. Since she only has 5 skills, she's also going to pick up a 2nd skill. And I could see them giving her either weakened attack or weakened defense. Maybe even extra damage at full stand. That would actually be pretty unique for a character like this because they haven't... I don't believe they've given a character damage at full stamina. They've given damage to low stamina, but not full stam. Although I feel like they might just go the cheap right and give her just weakened attack and that'd be kind of just like... No, they can't do that because she has paralysis. That'd be pointless. Maybe we can defense, I think, is what they're going to give us. And then as for a link, she has a 25% stun recovery. So what I would like to see here is maybe recharge just to make the character a bit better. And also, recharge and stun recovery is actually a pretty decent link, especially even at 10%, which if, if she does pick up recharge, that's what it would be at. I wouldn't even mind that. Personally, I do like, you know, hybrid links, stun recovery, and recharge is definitely a good thing that I would see myself using. So I would kind of like to see that. And uh, yeah, let's just see what she does pick up. So for a link, she got... Damage taken, minus 12%. That's not too bad. It makes sense. Down recovery and damage taken is a pretty decent combo. I'm not really too sure right now how many combinations of that we have when it comes to other characters. Uh, but that's decent for auto and I guess. Not too bad then. The stun recovery is pretty high at 25%, but the damage taken is only 12%. So... Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. As a character for herself, not too good. She doesn't, she, she doesn't really benefit from that. But as a Link, that's pretty unique to a certain extent, I guess. And as for the soul trait, she got... As expected, weakened defense and 20% Berserker. So, yeah, I guess as a character, she's now better. You know, she's hitting 20% harder. She doesn't have the built-in recharge still, unfortunately. And I guess the Soul Bomb now hits harder. That's the really sad thing about Resurrections right now is that you can kind of predict what they do get. As you can see, I literally just caught it, right? She would get weakened defense or attack and Berserker plus 20%. I would like to see them to do more with this kind of stuff. It's kind of just, like, expected. It's an okay resurrection. Nah, it's not. It's it's quite mediocre. It's an okay one, right? She's obviously the day. That's the main thing. And the link itself, I'm not gonna hash. I'm not gonna trash on it. I can see it being kind of useful. Might see myself use that one day. If I do, I'll be happy to have her. Next up, we have. Uh, let's do Momo next because Momo is. I want to see what they're going to do with a miner, right? So, Momo is a character that's very bad. I don't like using her. Range Collision SA1, SA2 is a heal, and SA3 is a... It's not even a force screen, I believe, right? Let me just quickly double check real quick. Uh, attacks. Because I have to use her a lot during... Yeah, it's 900. I have to use her a lot. And I'm sure a lot of you have to use her a lot during Chronicle Quest farming. So, she's not really the most fun character to use. Now, at the very least, she's not going to get this skill because she gets it in Arena, which isn't even that good. So, for her skill, she has a 20% Bruiser, a 2-second Debilitator with 40% Devastation, Friendly plus 1, Medic, and Sprinter plus 1. And since she does have 6 skills here, that means she's going to pick up 1 extra skill. That means probably 20% Berserker. And as for the Soul Trait, because she already has 12% Recharge... I don't see them giving her 16% side. I don't feel like we need them. I wouldn't mind, like, DR and recharge, personally. <laughs> you know, the reason why I say that is because we don't have a lot of links like that. We have a lot of mine links with, that are recharging side, so I wouldn't really want another one. If they want to go down the Retsu route and give a full stun, that would be pretty good. So I'm kind of curious what they're going to do here. So let's see what she does get. She got stun recovery. <laughs> kind of weird, right? We just got... Okay, that's, uh, that's all right. 
that's, that's okay. Actually, I'll, I'll take it. Compared to Ranku, Ranku is a 25% stun recovery, and if she did pick up recharge, it'd only be at 10%, so it's less recharge. I, you know what? I actually prefer more recharge and less stun recovery than more stun recovery and less recharge. So, this is a pretty useful link. Again, I actually prefer this more than a sad link, mainly because I personally have free mind recharge and sad link, so I don't need any more. But I would gladly take more links like this, because I could see myself using it on my mind character when I'm playing Inheritance Trials. So, as a link, pretty decent. For a soul tree, what does she pick up? Just 20% Berserker? Yeah, just 20% Berserker. Okay, nothing too special then. But hey, pretty decent link. So, two, so far, we have a semi-decent link, a pretty good link. And now let's see what Omid is going to bring to the table. Is he going to finish up the trio or is he going to get a bad upgrade? So let's see what he does get here. So looking at that, again, he has a crystal slash jaw drop rate. I would like to see him do something fun here and give him coin drop rate. That would be cool. I don't see him doing that. I feel like they're just going to give him recharge, which for a character himself would make him better. And is he usable? I don't know. Like, he's he's okay. Nah, just, just use him as a link. You could use him as a main, but... You're better off using someone else. So as for his skills, he has a 20% bruiser, 40% devastation, 10 second enhancer with frenzy plus one, long reach and sprinter plus two. So as you can see here, he has six skills and he is lacking a berserker. So he's obviously going to pick up a berserker here. So let's see what he does get with his resurrection. Oh, they actually gave him coin drop. No way. I Caleb. I love that. <laughs> No way, that's funny. That's actually really good. I like that. Okay, this has made my day. It's so dumb. It's so simple. I did not expect it. I kind of just said it offhandedly because, yeah, maybe it'd be funny to do that. But they actually gave him coin drop. That's funny. Have they done that before? Maybe. Let me. I'm going to double check after this. And then he just got 20% berserker, right? Yeah, he did. Okay. Okay, then. But, hey, oh, mine is good. <laughs> oh, mine is a good soul trait. Crystal and jewel drop rate and the coin. Uh, Yeah. I'm, I'm all for it. Let me quickly check the other resurrectable cards that also do have... Because uh, I might be, like, getting happy about nothing. Yeah, so that's the first time they've done it. The other two, that being Kisuke, only got recharge. So that's why I was kind of expecting recharge, because Kisuke got it twice. Uh, but they gave him coin drop. So, yeah, Omid is now just already a better link. He's one of the most used links in the game, because he is one of the older crystal characters. And now he's just gotten better. Yeah, I mean, coin to me, it's kind of pointless. I have, like, a billion coins. But, you know, for the new player out there that maybe just pulls in, that's not a bad link. That's pretty decent. And for those wondering what the next resurrection is going to be, it's going to actually be the tag team Shuhei, Genrasai, and Izuru. And... Yeah, all three characters are could actually be a lot better with a good upgrade. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what they're going to pick up. We'll talk about them when they do get the resurrection sometime next month. So the right there, lads, is the three new resurrection characters. At the end of the day, they are orbs, so that's all that matters. But the links, I'm not going to hit on them. Uh, Omida is a pretty cool link. I like it. Uh, recharge and stun recovery from Momo. I can definitely see myself using that a lot in IT, especially. And then Rangakum. Dion, 25% stun recovery is definitely nice. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to use that. Because if I'm autoing, it's, if it's in a point event, it, it's easy. I don't need the stun recovery. If I'm autoing, you know, like IT or IZ... I might want more DR, but I would gladly take this. These are definitely free usable links that I can see myself using. More so these two, per se. But yeah, overall, those are the free new Resort characters. Let me know what you like to think about them. Do you think they got a good upgrade or a bad upgrade? I'm curious to know. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.